Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 89. In this video, I will be taking apart an old mechanical lamp timer. This one is by Macranta. This one has the catalog number of 63-864. And the rest of this label is the instructions of how to use it. Operation is pretty straightforward. You have the clock wheel here where you set your current time. And there's a switch there that turns it on and off. And these little tabs you pull up or push down depending on whether you want it to turn on or off. And when the clock comes around, it'll rotate the switch. Anyway, let's get inside. I suspect it's gonna be pretty simple. A mechanical switch and then a motor to rotate the clock. On the back here, there's a Torx T10 screw. I think this is the only screw on the back. I don't feel one under the label. I'm going to pause for a moment to see if there's other screws somewhere else. On the front, I'm going to pry this little panel off. And now the clock wheel should lift right out. And there is another screw down here, along with a little gear. So this gear drives the clock wheel. Here's the tabs that will turn it on and off. And you can kind of see what the teeth on those tabs move. It's a little dark. Maybe we'll get a better look when we're inside. This gear looks like it comes straight from the drive motor. I'll take this screw out and it should come apart. I think I have to take the knob off. The knob has a very soft plastic feel. And the cover comes right off. And there we are. Let's take a little closer look at how this switch works. When this shaft rotates, you can kind of see how it moves the contacts. A little better view from the side here. Let's see if any of these prongs are loose. No, they're tight. Here's the motor. We'll take a better look at that in a moment. This piece is what meets up with those tabs. Now you can see it better than before. This is how they meet up, and that's how it turns it on and off, depending on whether they're up or down. Back to the clock face itself, it only turns in one direction. I'll pull this piece out, see if there's anything under it. Nope. Okay, so that's enough of that. Back to the switch. This is the part of the shaft that is actually switching it on and off, and that doesn't come apart any further. So the one that is switched is this one, which is the hot or line, and that comes from this prong. The neutral comes straight in through here, directly to here. And the hot, or line, comes in on the narrower one, and that is what is switched. That goes to these two contacts here. And right now they are connected or closed because I don't have that shaft in place. I'm going to pause for a moment and disconnect the motor, and then we'll take a closer look at it. Here's the motor. 
I can turn the gears one way, but not the other. I can hear something clacking under this cover that prevents it from rotating in the other direction. Looks like I gotta get some pliers and squeeze these tabs together. I'll go get some pliers so I can get this cover off. I'll be right back. I got some pliers. I'm just gonna squeeze these tabs in a little bit. Gotta move this one a little bit too. And this one. Now it's coming apart. Here's our main gears. Now I can hear that lock mechanism better. Let me see if I can show this a little better. There's that little tab that stops it from rotating in one direction. I'll pull the gear off and we can get a better look at it. And this is what was allowing it to only rotate in one direction. It would hit this piece and stop it. So these two plastic pegs were aligning this metal tab into the right position to stop the gear from rotating in one direction but not the other. Now this is the main drive gear which is actually kind of part of the motor and it looks like this part is just a bushing which I dropped. It's just a little bushing and that rides under this piece. Anyway, all of that in turn drives all of these gears, which reduce the speed in order to run the clock portion. As I turn these, you can barely see it turning. And that's pretty much all there is in this. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.